So the first thing you should do for your quad band uh, QB25 radio oddity radio is if you're in the US disable the 350 to 400 megahertz and to do that you open up the software and you click on other and the dialog will come up and you have the different bands and the ranges and you could really adjust this for your amateur bands or you can leave it open if you, you know, want to listen to some other stuff but for four, 340 to 400 to ensure that you're not going to use it you can actually disable it by unchecking the allow column so this is the Diamond 7900D antenna that comes with the Quadman 25 antenna from Radio Oddity. Came as a kit and it's available on Amazon. Now we're checking the 2 meter portion. And it looks really good in 2 meters. I mean it's not 1 to 1 by any means. There are some adjustments on the antenna. So now we're going to check the 70 centimeter area. And again it looks like it's within usable range. I'm an antenna, it's a 7900 that came with the quad band 25 watt radio from Radio Oddity. It's a QB25. And we're in the 220 portion of the band. And if we go up to 224, 224, 20 is where my repeater is. And it's 1.9 actually comes down to about 2.6 so we should be good in the 220 portion the programming software is pretty easy to use it's a spreadsheet format it has all the basic information for your channels including a channel name which which I did not actually put on any of these so there's many options in the software most of us probably um, won't change too many features here. The one thing I did do is I changed the startup screen and I changed the colors and the menus because I just really didn't care for the blue. Looks like I need to change the green for the busy channel to another color because that, that's sort of hard to read. One of the options in the menu under options is some default frequencies so this column here is A and C frequency and this over here is B and D frequency so these are set up with some defaults and when you click on the C as you see it changed to 350 and if you click over here on the D it also changes so these are the, the default four frequencies that you see when you turn the radio on one of the few complaints is that uh, people want to see the frequency plus name and that's not one of the options but you do have channel plus frequency or channel plus name so if you select channel plus name then your name column will show up on the radio so I've been using the uh, QB25 a little bit more I've changed the colors added a few more frequencies in and I've attached the antenna that came with it it's a diamond uh, 7900 and I just have it attached to the back of the radio what I learned about the QB25 radio to the quad band radio the, the more fun it is for instance I discovered there's this little button here that says FM which you know should obviously tell you it's an FM radio and you pick it and there you have FM radio on the board. So you need to monitor the weather, you can. And if someone keys up on one of the frequencies above, it actually breaks the uh, FM radio and goes to that frequency. So that's pretty neat.